Hey, what's up guys? So for today's video, we have another installment of a few really cool spy smartphone apps. So these apps are just a few cool spy apps that I found when uh, looking around the app store. I think they're pretty interesting and kind of fun just to mess around with. Um, it just kind of exploits a lot of the features that the iPhone already has. So yeah, try not to take this video too seriously and uh, hopefully you find it entertaining. Let's do it. All right, so the first app I'm gonna show you guys is called Incognito. So if we go ahead and jump into it, if you've never logged into it before, it'll basically pop up and uh, look like a group message. Now, it'll walk you through all the steps. Basically, this allows you to look like you're texting, but you can actually be recording or taking pictures through your front or back camera. So if I go ahead and type help, it'll give you all the commands you need to type um, to start recording, stop recording, uh, take a picture. But whenever you open the app, basically I can quit out of it um, jump back into it and it'll preload with like some fake group message communication. I have no idea who would actually talk like this, but honestly it's different every time and it's kind of funny to read it too. Like, I'll read that one. If birds could fly, you know what they're saying, get to know. Like someone spent a lot of time actually programming in these like just random conversations. Um, anyways, that's not the point of that. All you have to do to record a video is type record. And hit send and then they'll look like they're typing back. It's actually recording right now. So basically it's recording when you see the dot dot dots and when they text back got it, um, that means the recording's done and uh, you've got your video. They're typing, they're recording. So if we can go ahead and play it. Um, so again, to go ahead and take a picture, all we have to do is type photo. Got it. Boom, there we go, there's our picture. Yeah, just kind of a fun app to mess around with. All right, so the next app I wanna show you is called Cambush. I think you might have to pay for this one, but if it is, it's only a couple bucks, but I got it because I think this is actually the best motion activated alarm camera that you can get. So I just think the setup is just so professional. Like you can record in 1080p, you can even go up to 240 frames per second. And basically what this does is you can set your phone up somewhere and uh, turn on the recording, and whenever someone walks in front of it, uh, it'll start recording. So if I hold this kind of steady, even just a shadow, you can see it can trigger it. So you can see the screen lights up red whenever I put my hand in front of it. Um, and if I go ahead and flip this bottom switch right here, uh, it'll start activating the camera and then it'll shut off the screen, but as soon as I put my hand in front of it, it'll start recording. And yeah, there we go, we have our video of it recording. And if you saw, the screen actually went black when uh, you started recording, and that's actually to save battery. Uh, you can put it on a low power mode. Um, that allows you to leave this like open without the screen sucking away all of your battery. You can like position this up in your dresser or something, see if anyone's like going in your room or uh, just something like that. Uh, I'm sure you can find many uses for it. Yeah, it's a pretty useful app and I think it's very well designed. Um, I think I showed you another one uh, very similar to it in my last video, but this one works for the iPhone and the last one I think only works for Android. So there you go. So the next app I wanna show you guys, will turn your phone into kind of like a stethoscope or basically a super powered microphone. Um, again, this app's free, so if you want to try and mess around with it, or board or something, this won't cost you a thing. Um, but what you're going to need for this app is a pair of headphones. So basically, this will take the sound from your microphone and amplify it into your headphones. So if we hit the start button, it'll start picking up sound from your microphone and playing it into your earbud. So I'll put this earbud up by the microphone so you can hear it. If I talk into this, it gets really loud. And yeah, you can imagine if this was uh, actually in your ear and not me just holding it up to my microphone, um, it'd be super loud. So if you put this right up next to the wall, you can hear like uh, people talking through the walls or like if you put this up to your chest, you can hear your heartbeat. Um, it's just cool stuff like that. And you can also uh, dial in the exact sound you want. So you can change the uh, audio volume and you can change the equalizer, so if you want more bass, you can boost the bass. If you want less treble, you can boost it. If you want more treble, you can boost it up. Um, so yeah, it gives you a nice little equalizer to mess around with. 
So you can dial it into the exact settings that you want. So another thing that I thought was pretty interesting that really doesn't have is what happens when you connect this with some noise canceling headphones. Now just think about this for a second. This boosts noise and this cancels it. So what's gonna happen? So these are the Bose QC35s I think. Basically they have noise canceling technology. So they have built in microphones um, to basically take in the outside noise and effectively invert it and play it through your ears. So if you guys don't know, like waves uh, that are inverse will cancel out each other. Um, so this is how the noise canceling works and it basically blocks out all the noise outside. But this will record the noise outside um, through the microphone and actually play it into the headphones. So I'm wondering what will happen, like will nothing play? Will it be really loud for some reason or be really quiet? Um, I don't know, let's find out. So I've launched the app and I'm gonna turn on my headphones, turn up the volume a little bit. Now let's see what happens if we start the app, okay? So all I'm hearing right now is some buzzing. Um, let me hold this up to the microphone real quick. Stopping it, starting it. I think what's happening is it's hearing the noise, it's trying to cancel it out, but uh, I don't think it canceled out all the way. So you're getting kind of some feedback uh, from the outside noise. Honestly, I think that's pretty interesting. Um, anyways, moving on to the next app. So this last app I'm gonna show you allows you to text people with decryption. Um, now this might be useful if you're in a group message and you only wanna text one person, like, but you still wanna use the group message for whatever reason. Or maybe a better example would be if you wanna text someone, but you don't want the messages to be like intercepted, or if someone looks at your phone, you don't want them to be able to read what uh, the message says. So this is a way to effectively lock your messages and uh, get around that. So I found two separate apps that kind of do the same thing, um, but I actually ended up having trouble using both of them. Um, so I have a third alternative I'll show you if both of these don't end up working for you either. So the first keyboard app, launch it, and um, basically it'll just walk you through how to use it. So you have to uh, go into your settings, go to your general, and uh, go to your keyboards, and uh, add a keyboard. And see this button down here, and that will allow you to hide any text you want. So I'm just gonna type test. And hide it. And it'll change it to another saying, and then you can go ahead and send it. And because I'm texting myself, um, it'll reply. There you go. The person on the other end will be able to decode it. So the other keyboard app that I want to show you that basically does the same thing um, is called Secure Text. So again, it's just a keyboard app. You have to do the same thing, install it on your keyboard, and you have access. And that one looks like this. So all you have to do is type your message. Um, something to do, again, test. And we hit the lock button after that. And what this does is it actually generates a code um, that you can just send off. And again, no one will understand what you mean. And to let the other person read it, you actually have to send them your key, um, which for me is giving an error. Um, so this is why I kind of had trouble with both of these apps. So if neither of these methods end up working for you, another quick and dirty method is actually just using an encryption that you can look up online. So I actually saved the website right here. Um, it's called EncryptEasy.com, and it basically just works the exact same way, but you don't have to go through all the apps and their servers. See, I, I think it makes it both easier and harder because it's not actually optimized for your phone, but on the other hand, you don't have to install anything and worry about anything like that. So I'm just gonna make a quick password right here. Just do test, not the same thing. And uh, you need this password to be able to read the code that they sent, um, which makes it actually pretty useful. So both you and the person you're texting have this password. You can actually write your message right here, so. Click done. Very true message right there. Um, and we can go ahead and click encrypt. And here's your encryption. And now all we have to do is copy this. Select all, copy, hop over to your messages. Um, you can send this off. Honestly, it takes like probably an extra 30 seconds. Um, they'll receive your message. Um, they can actually copy this as well and go back to the, uh, it actually includes the link to use. Just go ahead and click that. It'll hop you back over. Um, it takes you here, but uh, you'll just click encrypt text. Um, enter your password that both of you would uh, agreed on prior. Paste it in and click decrypt. And there we go, we've got our message. So if you're super paranoid that anyone is uh, trying to read your messages, 
Here's a fast way to encrypt your texts. Um, you don't even need to install anything. All right, guys, so there you go. There's uh, four more really cool spy apps that I just honestly found just scrolling through the app store. Um, if you have any more apps that you know of that are kind of like spy related or just allow your phone to do any cool stuff, um, just hit me up in the comments below. And yeah, if this video ends up doing well and gets a lot of likes, I'll probably end up doing another one. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. If you did like it, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for some more cool videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.